Um, I'll tell you one thing, people don't have the Declaration of Independence hanging up at their shore houses above their bed. I haven't seen any blankets made of the Declaration of Independence. I mean, if you did have a blanket of the Declaration of Independence, you're a nerd. But the note is everywhere. It's art. So Mike, where did Sam and Ronnie sort of stand leading up to their arrival in Miami? Were they together, were they not? Define together. Sam and Ron were good. I just thought they were in a good place together because I know they fight a lot. Ron and Sam were not together. So it was very awkward for both of them. You never knew if Ron and Sam were together. Even if they weren't together the first day, they were together the second day. Wasn't my best times back then, so for me, I'm like, oh, like I wish I handled it a little bit differently. I went to Club Bed and I witnessed Ron making out with two girls. Seeing that, I was like, why am I? Because I, I went out with the boys that night. Stupid me. Ronnie's being Ronnie, <laughs> being reckless, fighting with Sam. Everyone's having a good time. I'm having a great time. Kissing other girls, cheating on her. In true Ron and Sam fashion, they would fight a lot. Ron's not like too romantic. I They would sort of break up, but they wouldn't break up. So f you, f you. Don't talk to me for the rest of the time I'm here. Make up your mind, bro. In my head, like, I want to move on, but in my heart, I don't. So apparently, Sam was in the relationship and Ron was not. I feel like I did mad work tonight. I'm proud of you. Just more I'll go sleep with my girl in the bed. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Oh. The consciences of everyone that had witnessed Ron hooking up with multiple girls at the club <laughs> and then going home to Sam, that seemed to be a little too much for everybody. Everybody's like, this, this too much. So I wasn't there when all this went down. Angelina ended up telling us, and then the boys, I feel like they didn't confirm or deny because, you know, it's boy code. We're Guidos and Guidettes. And if you don't understand the translation to that, uh, we're Italian. And uh, ratting is frowned upon. He made out with two Rhinoceros. ugly girls at the same time. And he was loving it. He's like, don't, I'm doing work like right now. Work. I think the whole entire house knew what was going down with Ron. We didn't want to fight with either of them, but it was like girl code. We had to let her know, you know, so she doesn't look stupid. Um, we typed the note. So I found the note in my bedroom draw, and I was like, this is weird because we're filming a TV show and you weren't allowed any notes at all. Like, you weren't allowed to write anything, you weren't allowed your phones, you weren't allowed computers or any of that. Let's do it on a computer, print it like a professional person, and put it in her drawer. She would think producers did it because we have no access to technology. Can you recite any part of it? Do you remember it at all? I do remember, like, the first line. Sam, the first night in bed when Ron... something, something, that's all I know. It just didn't sound like, I guess, written very well. Should we do it in pink font? <laughs> Dear Sam, the first night at Clutch. The night at bed. When you left crying, Ron made out with two girls. They definitely used weird words that they would never say to throw Sammy off. You know, like proper terminology. Stuck his head in between a cocktail waitress's breasts. Like, we're going to say tits. Like, we're not going to say breasts. Boing. It had, like, periods and commas. I don't know if those commas were in the right place, but it had a couple commas. Ron hooked up with multiple, multiple <laughs> fat women. <laughs> Grinding with multiple fat women. Terrible. It's gonna be so bad. Made out with two girls, because I know he did that. Uh, the whole house knows. Multiple people in the house know. Therefore. Therefore. Therefore you should know. Therefore you should know the truth. Big professional words. Yeah. We pled the fifth. Tell me if this happened. I have no idea. That's crazy. Sammy was asking, is it true? Where'd it come from? We're like, I, I don't know anything. No, dude. I didn't write any letter. I'm sorry, though. Did Nicole? No. I went to Ronnie, and I said, yo. I was mouthing it across the table from him. I'm like, you're in it. Nobody was owning up to the note, and I'm like, we're friends. Why isn't anybody just saying that they wrote it? What do you think it is? I don't know. Angel. I think maybe she typed it. I don't know. I would appreciate the person who wrote this note because you actually told me what's going on. That's yeah. what makes me sick, because somebody wrote me that note and nobody can open up their mouth. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't the guys. I didn't write it. I was like, wow, like they're more scared to lose their friendship with Ronnie than their friendship with me, so that was, was 
upsetting to me. You have to tell her, but you're also ratting out Ron. So he's everyone's And then there was a fist fight. I heard Angelina kind of starting trouble on my girl Jenny at the time. And I, you know, I picked the side. Angelina, what were you saying about me talking about Paulie? I'm not saying he started everything, but he was the one that said I was talking and then that's how it all escalated. Yeah, I didn't really like Angelina at the time. I still don't. Angelina is a shady bitch and needs to get confronted about it. Somehow, Sammy got caught in the crossfire. I don't no. like you. Why don't you like, like me? Because like I came to you as a woman and told you about your man. Who wrote the note? You two. Who wrote the note? You two? I say that to this day. This happened when I was really wasted. <laughs> yeah, you were eating a sandwich. I was eating a sandwich, like I was, it was 6 a.m. But I was like, who wrote the note? Used to, because I knew it was the girls and they just wouldn't say it. Hey. Who wrote the note? Used to. Just say it already, like just say you did it. And then next thing you know, they're fist fighting. Ah, stop, 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 stop. I wouldn't even fight Jenny. And Sammy would like just be like, one, two in her. Stop, stop, stop. Pictures were falling off the wall and Weaves were flying everywhere. There was hair all over the floor, bronzer on everyone's skin, and eyelashes everywhere. It was a nightmare. Not only did I have this guy who was dating cheating on me, I lost all my friends. I couldn't wait to get out of there. It was misery for me, honestly, for the rest of the trip. Is there any more turkey sandwich? Definitely there was a lot of tension in the air uh, during the Miami season after the note. You, Nicole, you, and your Sidekick. She will realize that and she will feel like the biggest dumbass in the world for sticking with Ron. Why are you mad at me when I tried to tell you something, but you're like you're still lovey-dovey and fine with Ron? The only reason I stayed with that person on the show was because I felt like I didn't have anybody else in the house, so that was kind of like a tactic to make it through Miami. Looking back in hindsight, I should have been more mad at the person doing the actions and I feel like those girls are just looking out for me, even though they wrote it in a note, maybe not the best way, they were just trying to look out for me and help me. Do you have any advice for anybody who wants to write their own note? My advice is do not write a note. <laughs> when I see something, I say something to somebody's face. Maybe let it linger for like a day just for fun, but then say like, I wrote the note. Yeah, I, I think I still stand by it back then. But if it happened now, I would say, Ron, what the f are you doing? You're so stupid, like she's beautiful, you're an idiot. And then I tell Sam everything that I heard. I love a little bit of drama. Uh, I love to stir the pot myself. I think that uh, if there's any doubt, write a note. <laughs>